Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to play Sejuani here in Season 11. She is not the strongest tank jungler out there. If you're looking for a more meta tank jungler, you should try out Ramis or even Nunu. But I think you can still do some pretty cool things on Sejuani, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, nice. I think we're going to grab something on this invade. I have my E, unfortunately, because I thought I was going to start on my red buff. I didn't really realize we were going to invade. It's fine. We'll still start on our red buff. So Juwani's invade isn't the strongest. I mean, you can start Q if you really want to, but that's going to mess up your first camp. Uh, you, you really want E for single target monster camps. W if you are forced to start on wolves or raptors, but you don't want to have to start on wolves or raptors. Ideally, you just start with your bot lane on whichever side that's on. You start E. And in a perfect world, your support would be a melee champion. That way you could stack your E even faster since melee champions apply the, the stack as well. Got it. That was actually kind of close. I'm going to go ahead and grab my W now. W is awesome. It applies two stacks of your E. That Sejuani is really her whole kit. I'll attack W. The big one's only gotten to Autolus once so far. I'm going to bop each one of them down. Hit all three of them. You're supposed to break the ice on the one that you hit. I thought it was just going to die from the burn alone, though. Awesome. Moving on to our Raptors now. She farms fairly healthy. Especially if you do start on your red buff. That would be ideal on her. We're going to proc this. And we're going to kind of back off. Play around our W. W in your E. Since the RCC you can cancel the monster's auto attacks. Which helps you take a little bit less damage. We'll be healing back up. Red buff heals you passively. And we still have potions. We have our Q now as well. So Juwani is more of a scaling tank like Zac jungle. Once she is level three, she can start to do some ganks. So she is a level three gank tank. You typically want to avoid doing six camp clears on her because they're slow. The only time you do six camp clears is if you don't have a gank and if you don't want to fight for scuttle crab. Waiting for my passive to come up. Auto attack W him away. And then E stun him. Auto attack Q him. He still hasn't hit me. He finally just hit my passive. I'm not taking much damage because of it. Auto attack again. Stun. He's dead. I'll just go ahead and do a full clear. I could go to Scuttle. Just barely spawned in at 315. Instead, uh, I just kind of want to finish this up. I don't have mid prio. My mid laner is not there. So I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm fighting Nunu and Ari at the same time. The lane prios make a huge difference with kind of who gets in and who doesn't. So you'll get pushed off of it. Plus, out smiting a Nunu is a pain in the ass. Looks like he's not even coming for this area. I assume he started with his bot side. Not 100%. Camille mid seems troll, but it's actually really strong. Typically against melee champs. Vlad might have saw me there. Not sure. Cool, these are still up. Nunu rarely takes golems in his first clear out. He's typically more of a red buff into wraps type of champion. Generally skips golems. Level 6 is a massive power, fight, spower, power spike for Sejuani. Level 3, level 6, and uh, your full chem tank. I really do like chem tank on Sejuani. I think it's really strong. I'm waiting to gank. I need Vlad to kind of shove up a bit more. I don't know why, but I thought his blood pool would, was on cooldown. <laughs> Obviously wasn't. Spin back around. Might be able to make it work with like a flash cube or Q flash. That's fine. I'll just back off. We got Vladimir Flash. I don't need to overstay. There's really no incentive to. Knew you must be nearby. I don't like this anymore. I don't want to stay because of it. He's got a big meaning wave too, so it's kind of sketchy. 
on your first back general you want to go for a bomby cinder on sejuani you have the option of uh sunfire aegis it's what you'd more traditionally build on her it's been nerfed a lot so you it's not quite as good as it used to be frostfire gauntlet and turbo chem are a little bit cheaper as well so those are great options my back line's pretty big to where i could probably just go frostfire gauntlet we'll see if I get my jungle item late, I'll go Frostfire Gauntlet. If I get it early, I'll go Chem Tank to empower my ganks so I can be faster. Chem Tank's really good on Sejuani. You can set up massive combos. Chem Tank's just really good right now in general. Ramus's win rate is insane right now. He's like a top 10 jungle champion. And platinum and up. And it's basically because of Chem Tank. This gives that much power. level up on Nunu, he's not really farming. My red buff's coming up, I'll snag it, I'll be level 6 and then we'll whip out a fat gank. Looks like my bot lane has more CS. I should probably stay away from Vayne, she's not CSing very well. She has less farm than Vladimir, and I was pressuring the Vlad, so... And she died solo. <laughs> Those are the type of lanes, like, you, there's no reason to flame your laners, ever, doesn't help. But at the same time, you may not want to go back there because you're just kind of wasting your time. I want to look for something bot lane. Got her. Oh yeah, Jin needs to pull out a bit. Nunu is only level 4. It's insane. I just want to help Jin push this. I don't want to really steal the minions from him. It's like you saw there. I'm just trying to let him get everything. At the same time helping him. Got him. Just flash past it. I don't want to mess with this. Oh, I got triumphant healing. I'm going to live. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was fantastic. I got a reset, though. I'm really low. I can afford chem tank. I'll go take golems. Might as well. My pass is up anyways. Passive OP. Auto attack W. Auto attack E. It's my smite. I'm going to max our W first. Q second and E last. And now we can reset, get a full chem tank and a ping forward. If you want, you could rush down tier two boots on Sedge, but I think chem tank is worth it. For your runes, if you want to see everything all in one spot, just go back to the start of the video. I show everything all in one picture. Generally, aftershock is best for turret dives and for team fights on Sedge. Fawn of Life is just good honor. Helps your teammates out a lot, especially in team fights. Conditioning is a scaler. Overgrowth is a scaler on her. Triumphant's really nice for team fights and for dives. And Alacrity is just good overall on her since she's an auto attack based tank, similar to a Ramus or a Dr. Mundo. She needs to land lots and lots of auto attacks for her kit to work. It would be nice to be able to go kind of domination tree to get the ingenious hunter for the cooldown reduction on chem tank, but at the end of the day, it's just not uh, quite optimal in my opinion. Just let him burn out. I have nothing to gank right now. I want to use my chem tank since it's up. I just, there's nothing to fight. I don't, once again, I don't want to go get Vlad. He's two kills up. He has phase rush. I have a lot of slows. I have two stuns and a knockup. I mean, my W slow, my chem tank slow, and I have three slows and then three heavy CCs, essentially. Slow, 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 stun, stun, knock up. A lot, a lot, a lot of CC. Phase rush is gonna make it really hard to get to him. I'll just focus on my bot lane. I'll go for this. 
I wouldn't try to solo dragons on Sejuani until you at least have one full item. Otherwise, you'll lose way too much HP and it'll be kind of risky. No one's here, so I'm going to hold on to my smite. This isn't warded. Oh, I'm coming. You're going the wrong way, Twitch. Chem tank to stay on top of him. Blue smite him. He's just fast, though. He's a fast champion. I assume he had his phase rush earlier when I was hitting him with my stuff. I think Samira's gonna be greedy. Yeah, she's actually walking up. I can dive her. I pass it in my tankiness. We took like five turret shots. Solid. Don't know where Ari is. Guess it doesn't matter that much. I kinda wanna back on tier two boots. They have, I'd say mostly AP damage on their team. Nunu, Vlad, Ari, they're like four AP. I could go Merc Treads. Typically on Sejuani, you wanna go for plated steel caps because your passive, like you can't be slowed whenever your passive's up. So a lot of the times when they try to hit you with slows, it doesn't even do anything. So in that sense, the Merc Treads will be useless, but against Seraphine, uh, it's like a charm on her R. She also has a snare. Nunu has a snare. That'll be useful, I guess. Plus the, the magic resist on it, because they have 4 AP on their team. And their AD champion, Samira, is behind right now. My turbo chem tank is up. Possible I want to look for a gank with my R and chem tank. I think this guy's dead. Need to get that guy off of me. That actually hit. Dude, Seraphine's actually so busted. <laughs> what the fuck? What's that range, man? I was so far away. It's like an AoE Zerath stun, but it's just a snare. It's insane. With things like Zerath stuns, you can hide behind a minion. Because it hits one target and it's done with hers, it's like it just wipes everything. It's a freaking tidal wave. I'm gonna get my Merc Treads. And uh, at this point, you can go straight for Warmogs. It's really meta on Sejuani. Generally, you'll have three, 3k HP right when you buy it, or you'll just have to get like an extra Ruby Crystal. And you'll be unstoppable. If, if they are like full AD, you can go for a Thorn Mel second. Or if they're full AP, you can go for Force of Nature. But uh, they have a little bit of both since they have Samir and then 4 AP. I think the Warmox would still be the best choice here. Mm. Damn it, it sucks that I died though. Makes me very sad. Really wanted to kill the Vladimir since he's so slippery and had blood pool. I didn't really want to R him. I didn't think it was going to turn out. He took an extra turret shot. He got himself wrecked on that one. He needed to pull out a turret. He might have lived, maybe. Blue's up in five. Holding on to my Q. I'm about to go do my blue. your Q. I feel like uh, Sejuani could use a buff since her overall win rate's pretty low. She's not the like hype meta right now. If they were to make her Q apply her E stacks, I think she would be meta. I'll go for this. Just breaking the plan. I don't want anyone to interrupt. That would be rude.
Cool, got it. Kim tanks up in five. Got her. I still have my R as well. I'm waiting for Vladimir to use his thing though. Uh, I guess I can't wait. <laughs> I just dashed away. Vladimir's scaring me, man. My passive's up. My aftershock's up. I might be able to outplay here. See? That's exactly what I was worried about. Was that... He blood pulled like perfect timing. If that would have hit, man, I think we could have killed him. Very unfortunate. I'm just gonna. Guess I'll kill these real quick. Alright, reset time. Then we'll buy. It's just more magic resist. Nah, let's go war mog. I said I was gonna go mogs and we're gonna do it. We already have a decent amount of MR. We're getting 16 off of this rune alone, which is a lot. And uh, obviously we have 25 MR here and then 20 here, 25 here. So 50 plus 16, 66. It's a lot of magic resist as is. Vladimir, bro, stop being a rat. Mm, this is awkward. Vayne's not really helping the team. She's kind of just split pushing. <laughs> she still hasn't gotten the turret, man. I'm glad I didn't proceed to camper lane. That would have been absolutely dreadful. Wish I had war mogs. Oh well. Dash away. I'll grab this real quick. That looks like R is maybe coming over here. She's not going to be able to stop me. <clears throat> I don't really care if Fane dies. She's just. She's still not even a full item yet. She must be sitting on like two or three K gold. I don't know. Let's not dwell on it. If we do group, we should be able to win a team fight. Eugene, we got our bot lane pretty far ahead. I'll just leave it at that. Like even if Vayne doesn't have items, she could probably shred uh, Nunu really easily. Uh, I don't know about this. I mean, if Fane had an item, an item, she probably would have killed her there. She had like Kraken Slayer. Uh, Wanna stun Vladimir? He flashed. And Nunu got in my way. Take this down. Just gotta kill Vlad. I just try to CC him early to force out his stuff. Because if I hold on to my stuff, he just stands there and grinds us. So I have to force out his blood pool as early as possible with my Q. And then if he, once he does blood pool and he comes out of it, I'll auto him a few times and then stun him with my E. Why did we not use... The Herald guys. We're letting Seraphine bully me. Got her. QW combo. You can W while you're mid Q, or you can W beforehand. Both sides of your W hurt, but the second part's more important since it's slow. So you could like W, Q, bop them with the second part and surprise them, just depending on what you're trying to do. Pick up our War Mogs, and we could. Afford another ruby crystal. Yeah, we just need one more ruby. 
now we have 3k HP, so the Warmog is going to be passively healing us for an epic crap load. Yeah, 150 HP per second when I haven't been hit by a champion. Or I guess when I haven't been hit by anything, but it only goes on a three second cooldown versus non-champs. Versus champs, it goes on a six second cooldown. Chem tank is more and more valuable in the early game. Late game, the Sunfire Aegis definitely outscales it. Chem tank's more for ganks and finding picks. Otter, even with Nunu, being a Nunu. See how I bopped her there, I still got off the slow. It wasn't enough, because it's got some items. Get me away from Samira. She couldn't kill me. That's depressing for her. Because now look what's about to happen. Look at me now, boys. Look at me now. The monster still hadn't hit me since I was canceling their autos with my W and my Q, so I got back all my HP, even while I was fighting them. In fact, I got more HP back since I was hurting the monsters. I was getting the, the regeneration off of it. Nice. Kind of holding on to my Q to finish her off. Mm -hmm. I almost got her. I still have my chem tank. I don't really want to try to run her down under turret though. Something really important to keep in mind is if you are fighting somebody to the death and you're trying to maximize your stuns, or just in general, you want to stun them with your E first and then R. That way you don't miss your R. And because if you R them first, you can't stun them with your E for like six seconds. And we got it. Let's try to wrap this game up. I'm trying to knock her up out of her R. I didn't time it very well. Wow, that Camille dash is balanced. <laughs> what? Ari did three R's away, and with one Camille dash, she caught up. How does that make sense? She's about to get R to the face. See, like that. I stunned her first with E, so I don't miss my R. Then she gets stun locked. And don't forget, you can go over walls with your Q, just like that. Oh, no. Oh no. Vladimir outbalanced our gin. Flashed away. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. I also got ignited. Nice. With the help of my teammates, though. I need to get my Titanic Hydra, bruh. I've been putting it off. Get off of my vein. Ah! <laughs> get him, Camille, so I can use my E. That's hilarious. I need a backing by. Too strong. All right, we got our Titanic. Oh, they surrender. That sucks. If you guys enjoyed this Sejuani jungle guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.